Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the process of unboxing of one of the big boys of Omtech laser machine. This is the 130, yeah, I think 100, 130, and 150, and they even have the 180. Okay, it depends on the si big sizes, the bed size. You will need a special equipment to unload this from a truck, okay? It's not like the small machines, the truck will deliver them to your house and you can just push them with a, you know, a little two-wheeler or something like that, you know, dolly or something. This is something big you need to unload, uh, like a forklift. So I'm going to be showing you the process and I'm going to talk about this a little bit uh, for, the you know, for the actual spec for this machine. Just in case nobody have it or something. So let's click on the pictures and open it up. And uh, so this guy here is the 130 watt laser, and it comes in with the big uh, bed size. They do have bigger than these, but this is the th uh, 35 inches from here to here, the bed size, and 55 this way. And this one actually has the four pass-through doors. That means, okay, two of them are a removable door, which is this guy here, and in the back you're gonna see one more, and two of them are fixed. A door fixed opening basically and it can only fit uh, 5 8 of an inch which is that's more than enough that's where you're gonna be maximum probably kick cut but uh, you can fit them so the length of the machine it is about I hope I said 60 inch from here to here and 78 from here to here okay but uh, or 87 maybe uh, I'm, I'm measuring, but I'm actually when I unbox it, I'm going to be measuring it for you guys, and um, you'll see the length is a little bit different when the website says, and it does have the feature for autofocus, of course, uh, which is it works for Linux, okay, Windows, and you know, or, or Mac. I recommend it getting it with Lightburn. Anything you get, I recommend you get the Lightburn version because it's easier to use. This is the controller, the Rowita control. It's just something that comparable the Rowita, you know, with uh, AutoCAD and Lightburn. And it works perfect, beautiful. It does come with honeycombs, so they have a big bed of honeycomb. And this guy here, I was surprised. I thought it was going to come with just a piece of steel, you know, aluminum uh, bars, but it came in with actually honeycomb. And what else? And the focus, one little note about focus. When you try to use a fo focus, do not just try to focus without having any piece of wood or something. Because this little nipple over here, uh, this one here, uh, will go inside the honeycomb and it will damage the honeycomb. It's not going to zero out and you end up actually having your focus, uh, your focal basically um, diameter tip is going to go inside your honeycomb and it's going to damage everything. So this is designed how it will work. You put a piece of wood and the z-axis table will come up and then actually this this here yellowish the gold looking uh, button it will hit the wood and it it will go all the way inside this red tube and the sensor inside will read it that is bottomed out and then what happens the the bed comes down to this thing between example wherever the lens is and the the focus point and that's how you're going to get your focus point it is adjustable if you want to play with the focus or something, but that's for a different video. So let's get into it. Okay, it, it does require 110 volt outlet, which, which is good. You only need a 220, but it takes two, uh, two basically, you, uh, two input for it. And again, this is one of the big boys. Trust me, guys, this is a big guy. Compared to what I had, it's the 50 watt. This is nothing. I actually have a comparison between the honeycombs. I remove the honeycomb, and you're gonna see how big it is. Uh, the honeycomb. The good thing about it, it is bigger than the cutting bed size, a little bit. So that's good. So it kind of stables it inside. Doesn't move a lot like the old one. They did a very nice job on this one. It does have actually. Uh, let me open the picture so you guys can see it better. It does have a legs. Which is they're adjustable, so if you're not sitting in a flat, uh, a flat surface, you can adjust the legs up and down, just to make your bed basically flatter and stuff like that. And plus, have a wheel for easy movement if you're not used if your floor is flat. Um, other than that, uh, I love this brand Omtech. I've been with them for a while now. 
I do have the 50 volt and I have the 50 volt CO2 and I have the actual fiber optic laser 50 volt too and I, zero problem with both of them since I opened the window box zero problem but this guy when I received you'll see there was some damage done to it from the shipping company it is what it is it's shipment and it's a huge box you know you can't expect everything to be 100% but the build of it beautiful it won't even matter if you scratch it or dent it or something like that so let's go look at the videos uh, I recommend you guys getting anything like this go to Amazon they have a good policy you know the customer service is good and even Omtech on Amazon the response time is very good so here what we're using actually this uh, delivery person his name is his name was Kevin very helpful guy actually he's using a three wheel uh, forklift that got attached to a flatbed this is what you need actually to deliver something big like this okay I had a couple options to do this it was actually renting a Hilo and bringing it in a flatbed and then you unload it with your own Hilo but the Hilo is expensive and uh, the Hilo renting itself is not expensive a couple hundred dollars but what was expensive actually um, getting a delivery of the Hilo so you have to deliver the Hilo to your house and then they after you use it for a day you have to take it back you know the delivery company will come pick it up now another problem is you have to time everything with the manufacturer of a delivery company so if you rented let's say on Monday and manufacturer said you cannot get it until Tuesday now you just pay one day for a forklift and you wasted your time and your money too because the next day you need to return it so here you can see how big it is it is a big boy sitting on a piece of plywood basically a pallet and he's trying to get it in and he's having a hard time because it was too big but the guy's smart enough he know what he does uh, he's gonna try to go over the fence actually over the door and he cannot go over the door he's gonna back up because his wheels actually is gonna almost touch the doors he was very careful with the machine he didn't want to damage anything of my property which is again you know I appreciate him uh, he's gonna back up and actually turn the machine over to get it the long way I did have to go back to work and when this was delivered I left work so the guy trying his best to make it fast as possible so I can get back to work finish my day and come back and do the unboxing for you guys yeah. you're gonna see the process right now I'm gonna get quiet and you see you're gonna be turning around so it was not actually fitting that's how big the door so what he's gonna do right now you can see he's gonna drop it down and go to the other side and pick it up and turn it load it and here actually he's not gonna pick it up all the way because his forks it's a little bit short so he's gonna try to drag it just a little bit on the floor which is it is what it is you know at this point I reviewed it when he dropped it down there was some scratches and stuff from before it looked like so he's just trying to be careful should not to damage anything you gotta be careful when you actually unload those stuff so the guy again did an amazing job unloading it and pushing it but you can see uh, later on in the video you're gonna see they did some damage somehow when they transfer it you know from California all the way to Michigan and it's very wrapped around very good actually and he's gonna push it right now just so I can get it to close the garage door and go to work actually I end up covering it with a big uh, tarp just in case Michigan weather nothing goes crazy and stuff like that get wet so he's here just just making sure he don't hit nothing he's gonna back up and go to the back to the truck 
after unwrapping all this mess over here now the machine did have some scratches look like from shipping you know I guess this is what it is you know maybe I had to do some touch up so there's some scratches here I'll have my son George go get that little piece of steel that was wrapped so they have a little bonding steel over here that I was wrapping the machine this way and that way so these scratches come from this guy here where they bond the two pieces of steel together basically it was sitting like this and going back and forth and scratching the hell out of the machine they had one over here and then the straps it looked like when they strap it on the truck or something they scratch some dents I mean scratches over here scratches here I got dent got more stuff dent up over here these got a dent over here and of course when we were moving it Got some more scratch when we move it. It looked like this guy came out of the lake, came out. It's okay. And the major thing was, I think so far, that has damage. It is this guy here. This guy was, was way bent off, broken. I just fixed it, bent it back. All the scratches and even the screen look like it's blacked out right now. I got some, yeah, some stuff in it. It's okay. Other than that, it look okay so far. Let's do some measurements right now. Let me show you guys do some measurements and then we'll go from there. Okay, here is the look of it. And we can open the I'll have my son open it. George, open the case actually. And let me tell you this bed size is a huge. This huge. is huge. Okay. So huge I don't know honestly. So we can measure it. Let's measure it, George. Get a tape measure. Got it, it's in my pocket. Okay, so measure from the end all the way to here. Let's see. Okay. And let's it's about 39. So the best size is 35, but the actual honeycomb is measuring about 38 and a half. Okay, and then you go this direction from here. Come on, George. I got it. Okay, so from here. Help them out. From this direction all the way to the other direction, the honeycomb is measuring. Let me see, move your hand. Okay, it's 80, 58 inches. Okay, the bed size is supposed to be the size of the bed is supposed to be 55 by 35. That's how much the laser can engrave. But the honeycomb is a little bit bigger, which is good. It looked like they did try it out. There is four spots. That's how they do their cutting, look like, and there is four for actually pouring cuts. There's some stuff in there inside. I gotta get out, I'll figure that out uh, later. for the actual fans. And there's a little hole right here where you put the wood in. And this is what George is explaining. This uh, so this machine comes in. Uh, this is the 130 watts, okay? And it comes in with four way pass. Mm -hmm. So I can pass the material through this way, okay? Or I can pass it through here. So I have four windows. One, two three in the back and this way so these windows here you can only put so much material in you cannot put thicker going this way but you won't need to it's 55 55 inches yes. okay from here to here so your four foot is your four foot is more than enough so you can put an eight by four going through this way okay you or you can go a long material this way it's up to you but the distance oh uh, let's see Hold the camera like this. Got it. Okay, and then we're gonna measure how much distinct material we can put through here. You can put only. Let's see. Five eight. You can put five eight piece of material through here. So the bed actually goes from here, going this way, and it goes outside to the other side. Right there, you okay, can see it. and there is doors in the bottom. Let's oh. open this door in the bottom. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So there's a trait. There's okay. a door for the trait, and it looks like there's some. Water. So there's, there's a door for the trait in here. Mm -hmm. This is just all the material, the garbage that goes in here, in the bottom. Something wrong with the chain. Not like the chain is hanging. I gotta find out. Maybe you gotta attach it or something. Something, yep. something going on in the chain over there. Back up. We'll go from there. And in the back, there's actually two fans. 
big two fan six inches look like it's the same that comes in with the other one so it's a dual fan that's a good thing and open the door the back bottom door there you go on the way my little assisting George okay so it's the off Okay, so we just have to attach the actual motor. The motor is not attached to. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay, we'll attach the motor, and these are actually gonna attach to here, and which is okay. okay. And you have an air pump. It looks like this is an upgraded air pump that they have. Okay, There's for one. cutting. But of course, I'm gonna have to hook it up probably to my actual air compressor later on. And it comes in with two power, so. Two power supplies you have to hook up to it 110 you can hook up one but they recommend two of them uh, we'll test that out and let's open the laser torch so looks like there's some dirt okay if it's not closing hold on okay okay, okay now and that one Let's show the big boy tube. No, this way. There you go. And you don't want to break the machine or scratch it. Thank you, George. So this is the big boy. This is the big tube, and actually, he's some spec in that tube. So it's 130 watt, but it peaks 160. Mhm. Mm I'm holding that for you guys. So it's basically like this. This is the numbers. Okay. It looks like there's some stuff underneath it. That's from the back, actually. Yeah. Right, sorry. Yeah. Keep making that noise. The tube. I'm, I'm gonna move that away from you. That's okay. Alignment now. So if we want to do any alignment to the tube, how are we gonna have to go to this door here? We're gonna open this door here. If we don't do alignment and do alignment from this door. Looks like it's missing. And these are the passes. And these two doors here are actually the uh, what do you call the electronic. So you got one on this side. This was the past already the bottom and you got another one on this side here okay and other than this this is for the laser that's for the pass through this is just for the chain open it up and show them so oh this again, is a big chain it's, it's just actual access how you uh, how it the moves access goes back the... and forth that's the x axis mm -hmm. it's pretty lubricated i like this rail here so your wire is not all over the place which is, yeah. they come like that anyway and so here you have a look like a green go or orange and red e stop and that's a laser switch to turn laser on and off and like you got the power the control power on okay mm -hmm. and, and you got the Ruira yeah modified Ruira I guess this is the Ruira controller that can hook up to light burn that's the most important thing. you can lose this baby boy with a light burn and on this side here we do have the laser temp this was damaged when we got it so it's a little bit damaged here so we'll have it see if it's working if it's not it's an easy change anyway you usually it's connected by ethernet cable i have another another uh, video i made how to change these how to actually put this on your actual computer and uh, actual older one models so you can tell how much power you're showing to your laser through here and you have the controller there and it goes like this let me let's do some measurement george from end to end because there is some little different different measurement than the actual manufacturing okay so for example so measure from that end to this end for me here i'll hold this guy you hold that end thank you so the length of it is exactly about uh, 70 hold on, 78 and three quarter okay okay that's a lot length of it 78 and three quarter now the width of the machine the website said it's 60 but it's not 60. Uh, the width of the machine is about 56 and three quarter mm -hmm. sorry 56 six and three quarter okay and this picture here you can see after I put it in the garage pushed it in um, basically this is the difference between my old machine and the new big boy
okay so the old one is the 12 by 20 the 50 volt ohm tech and the new one is the actual 55 by 35 so a small look between the 12 by 20 the old the 50, the 50 volt machine this is the 12 by 20 and look at the new machine the 130 volt bed size 35 by 55 you can see the different little baby boy over here and this big guy I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching again and uh, we'll have link below for where to get the machines and if you guys need more questions have questions you can always visit our Facebook group home tech laser and upgrades and have a nice day